Many others have already fled, but here in hard to reach areas of the mountains, those left behind are battling to save their homes, farms and livelihoods. With no water dumping planes in the region, buckets of water do little to keep the flames at bay. They're angry at what they say is a lack of support from the authorities, with at least 30 separate fires igniting across the north of the country since Monday night. But the government says it's doing all it can and that the victims will receive financial compensation. He has accused criminals of starting the fires, but has given no further detail. No arrests have been made. Scientists point instead to climate change. Last week, an EU environmental monitoring group said increasingly hot weather has created a wildfire hotspot in the Mediterranean. These scenes being replicated in Turkey, Greece and Tunisia, where a record high temperature of 49 degrees Celsius has been recorded in the capital Tunis today. Now Spain and Portugal say they're preparing to join that list amid forecasts for a scorching heat wave. In Algeria, 28 soldiers are among the dead most of whom were killed during rescue missions. Limited resources already stretched as the fires spread. Three days of national mourning have been declared for the victims of what is becoming one of the most destructive series of wildfires in the country's history.